Guten Tag, Matt here with my Golf R. I just did the rear brakes on this thing, and before I did the brakes, I had my winter wheels on the car. So I figured today is a beautiful day. I do not think we're gonna get another snowstorm in Wisconsin, so why not take this opportunity to put the summer tires back on? When I swapped my wheels for the winter wheels, uh, it had already become winter, it was already snowy, so both sets of wheels are pretty dirty from the winter. I've got the Audi Celebration 17s here, and then the Volkswagen Talladega is the stock OEM Golf R wheel. So I'm going to take this time to clean them up, power wash them, slap these guys back on the car, and store these guys. What I'm going to be using today is two Meguiar's products. I've had good luck with the Meguiar's products in the past. So this is the Hot Rims Aluminum Wheel Cleaner and this is the, the Hot Shine Foam Tire Black, Tire Wet, whatever you want to call it. I did post a review video of a similar product to this. I think it was my second video on this channel so go check that one out. That one's probably gonna be pretty funny. Pretty terrible editing, pretty terrible quality, but I think uh, this stuff does work well, so let's get to it. So I've got this 2x4 out here so I don't scrape up the back side or front side of my wheels. So let's get these all lined up. Giving them a good rinse first with the power washer. I'm using a small electric power washer hooked up to the garage sink. And throughout this video, the pressure washer will progressively get worse and worse until it finally breaks. So stay tuned for that. Flipping them around and I will be cleaning the barrels of the wheels first. I'm using this product per the instructions on the bottle. Apply the cleaner liberally, scrub the dirt loose, rinse off. For the barrels, I used a harder bristled brush, AKA a toilet scrubber. So giving them a good scrub, and get all the dirt loose. Now into the front side, I'm going in with a softer wheel brush, going in between each spoke of the wheel, trying to get as much dirt and grime scrubbed off of the wheel, and then rinsing each one of them off. Now we can set up our Talladegas, flipping them around and pop out the center caps. Don't want to scrub those. Again, rinsing off the wheels with the power washer. Applying liberally while the power washer does its thing over there. Scrubbing around. These wheels are considerably cleaner, so it didn't take as long to loosen up the dirt. Take that power washer and clean the wheels off. Now we can flip those wheels over so we can start cleaning the front side. Apply liberally and really try to hit every surface on the front of the wheel, including the lug holes. And the pressure washer is freaking out even more, and it is dead. Continuing to scrub those and I've switched over to the hose and the good old thumb technique. Washing all of the cleaner off and there you have it. I let the wheels dry for a bit in the sun. Once the wheels and tires were dry I started applying the Hot Shine Tire Black. Wiping up any excess off the wheels. 
and you let it sit and now you can see it's mostly dissolved almost dry looks really nice really really shiny sneak peek of the floor mats that I will be showing you possibly next week maybe the week after that so stay tuned for that I'm putting the Talladegas back on they are bi-directional so you can put them on either side of the car front or back I decided to put the tires with the most tread on the front I think that I have a bit of negative camber in the back, which is wearing the tires a little bit weird. I might try to fix that in a future video, trying to align the suspension a little bit better. But right now I'm just gonna rotate the tires. And then the final step is to make sure that your tires that have been sitting all winter have the proper pressure. These tires call for 36 PSI, so fill them up, make sure they've got the correct pressure. Then you're gonna drop the car and you're gonna torque the lugs to spec. I did not film this, but each lug should be torqued to 95 foot-pounds and then you can back the vehicle out and admire it in the sun. Looking at those Audi celebrations versus the VW Talladegas, it is night and day. The Talladegas are so much nicer. And then after you drive around for a bit, you might get one of these, the tire pressure light. All you gotta do is go in here in your glove box Push and hold this little button until it beeps at you. And that is it. And with that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more content, subscribe to this channel for weekly videos and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a few days.